Hello, my name is Tomas Gonzalez. I'm a partner solutions architect at Sneak. And today I'm excited to show you the latest and greatest from our partnership with Atlassian. You might already know that you can connect to Bitbucket from Sneak to test your code, open source dependencies, container base image, and infrastructure as code for issues. Today, I'll show you an extension of those capabilities that allows you to pull the results from Sneak back into the Bitbucket cloud interface to consume the results where you need them the most. Let's get started. Our journey begins in Bitbucket Cloud. In this repository is Sneak's sample application, Goof. Goof is a vulnerable Node.js application that can be containerized using the Stalker file. Before I test it with Sneak, I want to show you that I'm using a fresh organization for this demonstration. In Sneak, we see I've set up my Atlassian demo organization. It currently has zero projects imported. And if we navigate to the integrations panel, we can see the Bitbucket Cloud integration is not yet configured. Now, without further ado, let's test our application by connecting Sneak to Bitbucket. To do that, first we add the Sneak application into our Bitbucket workspace. Once it installs, then when we return to the repository and refresh the page, we see we're going to see a new Sneak tab on the left sidebar. Let's refresh. Boom, there it is. Now let's click into the Sneak tab. The first time you use it, whether you're using an existing Sneak account or signing up for the first time, you'll need to authenticate with Sneak. Once authenticated, next you'll select an organization. For this example, I'll select my Atlassian demo organization. The organization you select tells the Bitbucket Cloud integration where to scan your applications to. So any repo that you scan with this integration will be imported into the Sneak organization we select. Lastly, we need to create an app password to configure Sneak's Bitbucket Cloud integration. Plug that in and that's it. Now we can wait on this screen for the setup to complete, but for this demonstration, we'll walk over what's happening under the covers by navigating the sneak. Back in the integrations page, we can see the Bitbucket Cloud integration that was previously not configured once we refresh the page. It was configured on, your, on our behalf. Once that finished, it kicked off the project import. We can see the import status by navigating to the projects tab. What's happening, Sneak is picking from the Bitbucket repo, code, open source manifest, Docker files, and infrastructure as code manifest to analyze for risks. Back in Bitbucket, reflected are the Sneak projects for Goof's package.json, the Docker file, as well as the image app package.json and Docker file, which is second application in our repository. At the top level, we can see the issue counts sort of ranked by their severity level, now, let's dig deeper into the open source vulnerabilities by clicking on the package.json project. In the details, we can see issue cards for each vulnerability, ranked and ordered by Sneak's proprietary priority score. Our, proprietary, our priority score is an easy to understand score that helps you prioritize which vulnerabilities to tackle based on a multiple factors, such as the CDSS score, if there's an exploit available, how long that exploit has been out in the wild, and the availability of a fix. For each vulnerability, you also get a summary of the issue, insight into the package version that introduced the issue, as well as the version to upgrade to, uh, where the vulnerability is fixed. For more information, or if you want to take action by opening a fixed pull request, or ignoring the vulnerability if you don't think it's applicable, you can click the link to Sneak, which takes you directly to the project we were browsing within Bitbucket. I hope you're as excited for what this means for you as a developer as I am. For the first time, you can consume information that was only available inside Sneak within Bitbucket Cloud, giving you a high level view into the issues in your repository, an overview and description of the vulnerabilities ordered by priority score with helpful remediation guidance. This further complements workflows enabled by Sneak, such as automated fix and backlog pull requests. Check out other Sneak tutorial videos to learn about other functionality you can take advantage of within the Sneak user interface. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you liked what you saw, download the Sneak application for Bitbucket Cloud, give it a try, and let us know what you think.
Thank you.